Armager Unleashed is a new limit break or mode for Noctis that was added to the game with the Royal Pack update. To access this mode you need to have collected all Royal Arms and equipped the Sigil of the Founder King for Noctis. When these requirements are met, Noctis' normal Armager will be replaced with Armager Unleashed. Just like with the regular version, in order to activate Armager Unleashed you need to have filled the Armager bar and then you'll remain in the mode until you either get knocked down, end the battle, get petrified or just run out of armature juice. While in this form, Noctis will have infinite MP, an entirely new moveset and even techniques of his own. Also, the damage limit seems to be non-existent during Armature Unleashed, so that's cool. This is the basic ground combo for Armature Unleashed. It consists of four attacks. First Noctis does a double slash, then he does a slightly different double slash. After that he'll stab the enemy and throw his sword into the air, and finally he'll do a drop attack as the combo finisher. If you just hold circle, Noctis will cycle through these four moves. Also, if you push the attack button while far away from the enemy, Noctis will close the cap with a very fast warp. Tilting the left analog stick to the side or away from the enemy will make Noctis dodge in that direction. And if you keep holding after a side dodge, he'll follow it up with an uppercut slash that will take him to the air. Also, if you're at a medium distance from the enemy, you can do this sliding dash attack by pushing the left analog stick forward while attacking. The aerial combo also consists of four attacks and it's actually very similar to the ground combo. First you do a double slash, then another double slash, third attack is a stab and spin, and finally the combo ender is a horizontal slash. He also has aerial dodges that you can use by pushing the left analog stick in a direction. These are a bit weird though, they don't exactly work how you'd expect all the time. I'll get back to this later, just know that it's not exactly like air step. But this is all basic stuff, it's not what you're here for. You're here to see this fancy shit. So after certain attacks in the combo, this glowing ring will appear around Noctis and if you press the warp button while it's there, he'll do one of five special attacks. These all do varying amounts of damage with varying speeds and area of effect, and they all make Noctis invulnerable for their duration. This here probably already clued you in on how each of these are activated, but let's still go over each of them. After the first two ground attacks you can do Armature Storm. Okay, so there's a bit more to this attack than I originally gave it credit for. First of all, this... whatever the hell you call this attack. Anyway, it has a sort of gravity effect to it, where it pulls enemies towards it. As you can see, the goblins here get pulled towards this damage zone. Also, there's some unusual stuff going on with the damage scaling of this attack. Uh, the initial sword slash is just scale off of strength, just like every other physical attack in this mode, but the rest of the attacks in the combo actually scale off of both magic and strength. It's just like with the Scepter of the Pious or both the Clever in the base game, and that's actually curious because, as you can see, Noctis is actually visually using the Scepter of the Pious during this attack, and later on you'll see another attack where he's using the both the Clever, and that one also scales with magic and strength. So there's some pretty cool mechanical attention to detail here. These aren't just fancy animations, Noctis is actually physically using the royal arms and their stats in these attacks. This also ranges some interesting questions about some other attacks in this mode. For example, this third one, Armature Assault, which you can do after the third attack in the combo. It all scales with physical, or at least I think it does, but as you can see here, the scepter and the bow are some of these royal arms that get thrown at the target, so potentially two of these 13 attacks actually scale off of magic as well, but it's impossible to say because the attacks land on the enemy at the same time. Anyway, that's enough for my interruption here, I just thought this was cool enough to warrant mentioning. An armature vortex can be used to finish off the combo in style. It's worth noting though that unlike the other two, this one doesn't naturally flow into other attacks. The combo just kinda stops there. 
In the air you can do Armchair Barrage after the first two attacks and Armchair Onslaught after the fourth attack, which actually takes you back to the ground and flows naturally into the ground combo. You have to get the timing down in order to do these attacks. Spamming the warp button will not work and you'll just lose out on your opportunity to do that attack. I recommend practicing the timing in the tutorial where you get infinite armature. Finally, you have three different warp strikes during armature unleashed. The short range warp strike only works on the ground and seems decent for crowd control. From medium range or short range while in the air, Noctis will do this warp attack with his sword. And this maze warp into spin to win is the long range warp strike. The defense side of things isn't that much different from Noctis's normal state. You get a short range warp instead of a dodge roll, but they're functionally identical. The idle warp is also a warp dash, the only difference being that it can also be used while in the air. Facing has a fancy royal arm effect around him, but once again it's identical to normal facing, except that now you have infinite MP. Noctis is also immune to bullets while in armature unleashed mode, even when you are not facing. Curiously, the armature bar seems to refill a bit every time you face, making it theoretically possible to maintain this form indefinitely. The one truly interesting part about the defense side of things is, of course, the counterattack you get when you dodge at the last second, aka blink. This counterattack has two parts. First, there's a magic blast that deals holy damage and scales with magic. After this, the royal arms spin around Noctis doing physical attacks. Noctis has access to four techniques while in Armager Unleashed mode. His one bar technique, Royal Cleave, is this large slash attack that can actually hit up to three times. There's a separate hitbox for the sword when in close range that deals royal arm type damage, while the blade attack itself deals physical holy damage. And when Noctis ignites the blade, there's also a small extra hit that also deals physical holy damage. This Natic Stance will make Phantom Swords attack the target during basic attacks. This however doesn't happen during special armature combo attacks, so it's not that great if you can trigger those reliably. Apocalypse is, is a long range attack where Noctis conjures these sword beams that fly towards the enemy. The damage from this attack is entirely physical, but it scales with the magic stat. And finally we have Legacy of the Lucii and... Well yeah, it's this thing that deals a crap ton of AoE damage. There's nothing overly special about it either, but I guess I should mention that the last explosion deals magic holy damage unlike the other hits that have the physical royal arm damage type. All hits still scale with strength, making this last explosion one of the only two attacks in the entire game that deal magic damage while scaling with strength. Surprisingly, the combo structure of Armature Unleashed is rather simple, at least by Final Fantasy XV standards. Whatever you do during the combo, as long as you don't stop attacking, the combo will always continue where you left off. This means it's entirely possible to do stuff like Armature Storm into Armature Assault, then transition into Aerial Attacks, do Armature Onslaught, and then finish off in style with Armature Vortex. You've all seen the combo videos on the internet by now, these can be chained together very freely. Even the techniques don't reset the combo and can naturally be made part of your attack strings. Everything flows together, you always continue where you left off in the combo and nothing resets it if you don't stop attacking. Unless... Don't give me that look, it's Final Fantasy XV, of course it's not gonna be that simple. There's an additional rule to all this, everything can only be done once. What do I mean by this? Well, let's look at this backwards dodge here. Once I do it for the first time, I'm not able to do it again until I reach the combo ender. The same is true for all side attacks and even the aerial side warp thing, although that seems to sometimes glitch out and lets you do it multiple times in one direction. Aerial attacks are also affected by this rule. If you string your ground combo into an air combo, 
once you return back to the ground you'll just continue from where you left off in the ground combo. But if you do this again before reaching the combo finisher, you won't be able to continue from where you left off, but instead you just start from the beginning again. Now keep in mind that the combo resetting isn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just what happens when you do certain actions. It still flows together very fluidly and it can actually sometimes be beneficial to restart the combo from the beginning to do certain attacks. The only attacks not affected by this rule of one are techniques. You can do one attack into a royal cleave, into another attack, and a royal cleave, into a third attack, and a royal cleave, and still finish off in style with the armature vortex. It's just the directional attacks and the aerial combo that can only be done once before resetting the combo back to the beginning. One last thing I wanna talk about is this weird phenomenon where Noctis sometimes just gets launched into the air for apparently no reason. I can't trigger it reliably and it seems to be entirely random. I don't think it's part of the intended moveset of this mode. Rather, I think it's a form of failsafe for this mode where if Noctis is about to clip into the enemy or fall through the world because of so much movement in this mode, then the game will correct itself by flinging him up into the air. Or maybe I just missed something, I don't know, but for the life of me I just can't replicate it constantly. Maybe one of you knows something about it, you can talk about it in the comments below. Anyway, that's the whole video, thanks for watching and take care.